Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool donut telephone or a circle telephone. Um, people have described them as both and it's a Western Electric original telephone and this is uh, Cheryl's telephone from Texas and she's got a note with it and she says there's no dial tone to this telephone and uh, sure enough it does seize the line but there's no dial tone I'm going to transmit there's no transmit and uh, there's no keypad nothing's working it does seize the line though you can see it seize the line so basically this telephone this is the initial checkout this telephone looks like it's been taken apart um, or it's loosened up or something because basically you can see that uh, it's been taken apart or it's a little loose or something so anyway what we're going to do here is uh, this is the initial checkout I'm going to kind of try to take this telephone apart real quick and give you a look at the telephone on the inside and uh, the screw here doesn't seem to I think the little tab is broke but we're going to try to remove this screw real quick and uh, in this initial checkout I'll try to try to open the phone up for you to give you a look at what these look like inside um, they really had to stuff everything into this telephone just because of the uh, shape of it and get this other screw out of here real quick for you and I can tell that a lot of the screws are loose so somebody has definitely uh, been into this telephone at some point probably looking for the problem I kinda like to get these telephones before they've been gone through there's a screw missing on the top here on the bottom I kind of like to try to get to these telephones before someone has been in them. Uh, it just saves me a lot more time. Um, sometimes I have to um, repair what uh, someone else has done or what someone else has done to the telephone. And uh, it usually takes longer uh, to repair something um, that someone's been into and uh, kind of massacred than it does to fix the actual original problem and it also has uh, I have to figure out what they've what they've done here and then other times people just kind of look in them and uh, are curious and want to see if they can see um, something that's just going to a problem that's going to stick out at them this has got the wrong screw in it right there so that might be a little difficult to get this apart just going to try to take this apart real quick give you a look at what they look like on the inside and uh, basically this hook switch sets up in this area here but I can see it's been gotten into before I'll unplug the handset cord here real quick here I see a severed wire 
I'm not sure if that happened, like I said, before uh, it was taken apart or or as it was being looked at or, or taken apart. But this gives you a look at, at the inside of a uh, circle phone, a uh, donut phone. It's an uh, original uh, Western Electric. And um, as you can see, they put a, a pretty good sized piece of chunk of metal in there. And uh, your bell is basically in, encased inside this metal here. Uh, and that was for weight to stabilize the telephone and keep it upright. And uh, so these are pretty heavy telephones. And you can see how they stuff the network inside this telephone here. It's, it's a real uh, Western Electric. Uh, it's amazing some of the things that they were able to stuff in these telephones. You got a big, gigantic, original keypad in here, uh, manual keypad. Uh, this telephone looks like it's bridge rectifier protected. Now whether that bridge rectifier is good or not is, uh, is yet to be seen. I have to check it out and troubleshoot it. But this telephone does get a line. Um, I see the hook switch is a little uh, slow in its, in its comeback. It's just amazing. Um, the equipment that they were able to stuff in these telephones. I think that switch, uh, hook switch, although it's working, could return a little quicker. And they don't give you much of a spring here. You can see the spring. It's not like a traditional spring. It's a, uh, it's a little different. It's a circle, and then it, you know, has one lead going that way and one lead going this way and uh, I can feel there's not much tension on it any longer. But uh, look at all the finger connections that they have in here. You can see them in there. And it's, it's just amazing. Um, I'm going to have to pull this network. This network looks loose. Um, and I think this telephone's been dropped. Maybe it has not been taken apart. Uh, maybe it's been dropped because I can see the transformer right now in the network. Let's pop this out real quick. I believe this telephone has been dropped, um, probably, and that might be the issue with it. I'm going to show you something here. This transformer looks like it has been broken free from uh, the network, and you can see how loose that is. That's not good because um, it looks like it broke all the, the windings. Uh, you probably can't see it on the video, but uh, there's a lot of windings. Uh, there's posts that come down out of this transformer, and the windings come down and wrap on those posts, and it's totally broken, as you can see. It's totally broken away from uh, your transformer. And unless I can get all those windings back together where they belong and secure this transformer, this network is going to have to be replaced. Now these little mini, or I call them mini because they were some of the smaller networks that Western Electric made. And we have a severed wire here also. Um, it's uh, all severed. That probably happened when it was dropped or something. So it may not have been taken apart. It may have been dropped. Or it might have been dropped and somebody looked in it to get an idea of what was going on. But I had to take this network apart and try to repair it. This network is getting hard to find. Uh, it's one of the smallest networks they made uh, in this type of situation. Uh, and they're getting hard to find. And you're going to have to, I'm going to have to use something similar to this or the same style network because of the uh, room that I have. You don't have the room in these to stick a, a larger network in. So um, hopefully this one is repairable, but it, it looks pretty broke up. And um, that, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be an issue. That's all loose. And I'm probably going to find some other little problems on there too. But this, this is quite a, a, a big problem. 
because just trying to get that back together again and get everything re-soldered and uh, to make sure it works is going to be um, kind of difficult. That gives you a look at the telephone. But all in all, this is a, a really cool telephone and uh, these uh, donut phones are really cool and uh, they're very unique and you're never going to see them again. They're just not going to make them again. And uh, even if China gets a hold of the mold, they won't do as good a job as Western Electric um, did on these. And they're really cool. So we're going we're gonna to work on this one and get this one back to normal again for Cheryl. And uh, this is a highly sought after telephone. We get a lot of calls on these uh, donut phones, circle phones and uh, they are a big keeper. Uh, people really want these and uh, they look for them and uh, they're very unique. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Cheryl is really lucky to have this telephone um, they're they're just a great telephone and uh, we're gonna get this one squared away for her thank you for watching and have a great day